That's right. It's that time of the month. I just got my mystery tackle box in the mail for the month of April. And it's been a little while since I've actually been able to film anything from Mystery Tackle Box. Poof, gone from my old hard drive. So, I uh, rather than trying to refilm something, I said, let's just start from scratch. Let's wait till April. We'll go back to things. I'm going to poke my eye out with this thing. All right, so obviously this is to open this good old MTB Pro Box here. We're finally starting to get into the months of the year where we can actually fish with a bunch of baits. Uh, when it's cold water, I mean, I can't fish with everything in here. It's, on, it's not really possible to do a slam, but let's take a look and see what we can do. Maybe we will try to do a slam with what's in here. All right, here's the box. No, oh, geez, first things first. Ooh, I like what I see. Uh, let's get to the card at the bottom here. Uh, let's start going through things one by one. Um, number one, let's see here is, oh, there it is, fell out. It's an Ima square bill. Nice little bait here. Ooh, that's some glare. Oh, look at that. That's a nice color, nice color. That red craw color, perfect for this time of year. Throwing this around brush. Craws are starting to come out right now. Water temperatures are rising. Um, that's why jig fishing right now is so great. So this is a nice looking bait. I'ma make some good baits. Uh, the I'm a, what, I'm a flit. Is it? I'm a flick flit. That's their jerk bait, which I've I've used for a while. Um, there's that that bait. And man, that's a really nice looking bill. So square bill. It's kind of got like one of those circuit board bills. Dives shallow. <laughs> Dives shallow. I don't know. It's, it's a square bill. Um, looks like some pretty quality hooks too. Very, very, very sharp. Ow. I actually don't know if I have a square bill in a craw pattern like this. And so I'll be throwing this around. We might be able to catch something uh, this week potentially on this. So nice little bait that retails for uh, $9.99. Number two. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Jerk bait. This is the Strike Pro Montero. You guys watch my channel you know i love jerk baits i've been fishing jerk baits pretty heavily over the last uh basically since the water became unfrozen and this is a pretty nice one kind of a clear pattern orange bottom and uh, i use this white color all the time i'll have to see what the orange bottom does if it has any effect on the bike this is a suspending um nice little bait here i can't wait to uh, throw this half ounce so this thing should cast a mile this retails for 11.96 so expensive little bait two lures already we've got 22 dollars worth of baits which if you're adding up in your head i mean this box costs 25 dollars. remember that bait number three another one that i've never seen before a spinner bait so i've been throwing a chatter bait a lot i've actually been tempted to throw on a spinner bait i just haven't done it i really should i should have both lined up uh, at all times and just be alternating back and forth seeing what gets the best bite so here is a spinner bait it's called uh the stan sloan zorro baits ban the bango blade banjo bay bango blade retails for 749 so it's pretty much a a standard yellow or chartreuse and white three eighths ounce Spinner bait, gold willow leaf blade with a smaller Colorado blade. Let's open this thing up. Oh gosh, this is this is dangerous. There's that spinner bait. Red eye, interesting little kind of red extension on the bottom there. I haven't seen that before. You know, good color. This is the same color bait basically I've been throwing on a cheddar bait with. Lately, uh, I could probably throw this this week. I bet you I can catch something. I've never heard of the brand before, but uh, I mean, a spinnerbait is a spinnerbait. Let's see, that one retails for $7.49. Bait number four, Cabin Creek uh, Salty Lizard. There's a lot in this box, holy cow. All right, this one might be a little bit tougher to catch something on right now. This is a, it's like a clear lizard. Let's just open this up. Hopefully this doesn't smell too bad. No, not barrel. There we go. Clear lizard. Uh, it's got a black and a little bit of like a blue fleck in there. Interesting little legs. They're they're kind of like I don't know. They're interesting. They're very thin. You know what I would throw this on? 
I mean, you could throw that on like a Carolina rig. You could Texas rig that. I mean, the color isn't ideal for bed fishing, but you can throw a lizard on beds. I mean, I've done that a number of times. Color is not ideal for that though. Ideally with this, something like this, you're gonna need some clear water. That one might be a little bit tougher to catch something right now, but nice little bait. Comes in a five pack or so. I don't have a lot of lizards. I, I just don't fish lizards very often, but that retails for $2.19. So bait number five is, and I saw this one in here. This one looks really interesting. The Catch Go Flicker Worm. And this looks kind of like a trick worm. I really like the color on this one. It's kind of like a, a crawish color. I don't know. Very interesting worm. So, so yeah, it's got a green top, kind of an orangey bottom. It's kind of like that Alabama craw type color. Thicker in the front, thicker end tail, but a thin in between. I, I could see this working pretty well as like a shaky head because there's going to be a lot of flex in this middle part here. Um, you can Texas rig this, but I mean, I... I would, I would shaky head this thing all day long. Uh, that tail right there is gonna be, gonna be a lot of action in that. I should be able to catch something right now, this time of year on this. So that retails for uh, $3.49. And actually there's a little, there's a little number on, or a little, little symbol on here, a couple of them. It basically says it's a new product and it's again, an exclusive color to Mystery Tackle Box, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. The sixth item in this bait, uh, in this box, is a Cool Baits underspin. So a lot of you know an underspin. I haven't seen the brand Cool Baits before, but I mean it looks like typically any under, underspin. Got a willow blade on the bottom. Um, nice little head design on there. This one looks to be doesn't say what size it is. It shows sizes on here, but they're all three probably that are offered. It could be a three sixteenth or a quarter. I'm gonna guess it's a quarter ounce. And so, nice little bait. I love underspins. That's another one that I'm sure I can catch something on right now. I can throw a little swim bait on the back of that and uh, definitely catch something last. And that retails for $6. You know, underspins are just expensive. Um, and then there's a trailer on here. This is also for the cool baits bait that we just had, that swim bait. Very different style of trailer. I haven't seen something like this before. It's basically just a really, really thin, small worm. Uh, let's see here. Retails for $2.50. I mean, this is it. It's basically a really small straight worm. Let's open this, this little underspin up and let's see if we can put one on here. It's probably a quarter ounce. There's that bait. It's pretty small. Something like that. I don't know if you can see this or not. There we go. So, it's pretty cool. It's, it's like a... You know, it's like a small minnow. I mean, it really does kind of have this little shad appearance. This is going to put off some some vibration and some shine. So I'd be throwing this on maybe a, a light breezy day, you know, in a lake where there's dominated by shad or minnows. This is going to do pretty well. I honestly, I really like it. I'm I'm a hundred percent certain I can catch fish on this now in the right lake. Absolutely. So really, really, this is a solid box here. There's a lot of good stuff I know I can use right now. Really, really good box. So let's uh, let's cue that little fast forward thing that I do as I'm I'm struggling to mentally add these things up. Go. Okay. If I did this right, it should be roughly around like 43 to $44 worth of baits. Again, for a $25 box, that's pretty solid. And these are some really, there's some good stuff here that I can add to my arsenal. So I got this little sticker here. It's pretty cool. Little fish on with the skeleton, some, some, uh, some little dead fish in there. That's awesome. And then lastly, but not least, the Dibble Digest. This is the book that kind of goes over some basic tactics, a lot of times that are, or a lot of things that are based on this time of year, and some really good articles. For example, first, first page I open up, and it's six nighttime fishing tips to help your moonlight bite. Guys, go check out, I'm sorry, it hasn't been posted yet. Stay tuned for a little bit of nighttime fishing that's going to be coming up. Love nighttime fishing. This is awesome. Um, you know, I, I uh, there's a lot to like moon phases and figuring out what these fish are going to be doing and what base you should be throwing. And I've I've kind of honed in on some stuff that works really well at some of my local lakes at night. 
but by you it might be completely different. So stay tuned for that. Um, but check out Mystery Tackle Box. Go out to their website. You can find some basic information. Again, I highly recommend them. Those of you guys who've been following my channel for a long time know that I'm a big fan of Mystery Tackle Box in general. And, uh, and, and they're a good company. They treat you right. You can get $10 off of your first box by entering the promo code MTB10. Um, I would highly recommend that. You can get a pro box here for only $15 that first box. $43 worth of baits in front of me right here. I mean, this is awesome for 15 bucks. It's in a subscription, you can stop at any point in time, but why would you? Honestly, why would you? This is a great way to build your collection of baits. Lots of things that when you go to the store, one, you're not gonna see. This thing, I will not see in a store. Yet, I really like this. This is gonna be great. And so, go out there, test them out, see what you like, Get a bunch of baits and build your arsenal. And uh, guess what? You're going to become a better fisherman. I know I'm a better fisherman because of Mystery Tackle Box. So that's it. That's the uh, MTV Pro Box unboxing for the month of April. Stay tuned to my channel. We're going to hopefully be doing some sort of slam coming up. I got a bunch of content that's uh, kind of accumulating. So you're going to see that over the next couple weeks. Fishing has been on around here. We've found some really good ponds that have got... A good bite going. Lake bite has been slow. I really haven't found anything out on the boat that's been that's been great. The only cool thing about when I went out last time was I ran into Peric out on the lake, which that was kind of cool. Peric's a cool dude. If you haven't met him before, he's real down to earth. Immediately remembered who I was. We've met before. Knows I'm a sturgeon fisherman uh, or a part-time sturgeon fisherman, I guess. Asked if I was on a sturgeon bite lately. And uh, literally the next day he flies out to China. Uh, that's enough. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to leave a link for Mystery Tackle Box below. Go check them out. Until the next video, stay tuned. No, I don't know what the... What the, what the blah.